Good afternoon. It's Thursday. Hard to think. What day? <laughs> what day of the week is it? It is Thursday. Oh, I've just got my settings all a bit wonky. Let's see if that's a bit better. It's Thursday the 7th of January. I'm Amanda Fowler. This is the Inspiring Inking Facebook page. If you are here, could you say hello? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I'm looking live in the right place and everything. That is a good start. Apart from the sound being on. Right. How are we today? How is your Thursday going? Let me know. Let me know. Judith is here. Hello, Judith. You are the first in the house. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Oh, Chris is here. And Angela. Hello, Chris and Angela. I have got coffee. Hi, Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have emailed you again. So um, hopefully, hopefully we've got the, the problem sorted out. Um, hello, right, let me slurp my coffee a second. Jen's arrived. My notifications seem to be a bit slower today. Amanda's here, hello. And Llewellyn's here and Gillian's here. Brilliant. Got a busy house today. Sue's arrived. Well, welcome Sue. Oh, Judith's got an internet upgrade. That is pretty cool. So have you got a, have you had your broadband updated or upgraded? Hello, Jen. Hello, Llewellyn. Oh, fantastic. And Sue is saying good afternoon to everybody. And Jan's here, saying hello to everyone too. And Sarah's here as well. How are you, Sarah? How's life over the water? Oh, right. Well, it's Thursday. I have one more product suite to show you. And I wonder if you can guess which one it is. Answers in the comments. <laughs> See if you can guess what it is that we're going to be looking at today. Oh, Sarah's saying it's icy in France. It's been icy here actually the last couple of days and it's quite rare. Um, for those of you that don't know, I live right on the very south coast of the UK in between Portsmouth and Southampton and we're about three, four miles away from the sea, I guess. So we don't often get particularly cold, bad weather. But last night we were walking the dog. Um, it was it was quite late, it was about, I don't know, 9.30 maybe. And there was black ice on the pavement. We actually walked along the road <laughs> rather than the pavement because the pavement was really slippy. And we, Brian and I were slipping all over the place and the dogs, four-wheel drive doesn't work very well at the moment so <laughs> so we were safer on the road thankfully there was no traffic last night um chris is asking for a little bit more volume chris my um microphone is plugged in is anyone else struggling with volume maybe you have to turn me up a bit Jan's guessing donkeys is what I'm going to be showing today. It's not donkeys. Let's see. Roz is here. Sarah's telling me to take care. Indeed, indeed. Maureen is here. Oh, you've got to guess. You've got to guess what what I'm going to be showing today. Okay. Um. So before we go, before we get to the crafting, I thought we would we would have a chat. And I decided 
as I was making soup this morning um, for lunch, I decided that maybe we should talk about comfort food. And you guys know I love my food, any food, all the food. And I was thinking, because it's, it's chilly, isn't it, at the moment? And we're all kind of feeling the need to kind of bundle up and, and all of that. So my first thing was, my first question was to say, have you got like a favourite soup? Favourite type of soup? Um, that can be out of a can or a supermarket or one that you make yourself. I'm never fussy. Um, and... So that's one question. And my other question is, what is your comfort food? You know, if you feel you're going to curl up on the sofa and you just want something that's going to be yummy and delicious, what would you eat? So we will see what you're going to say. Okay, so let's have a look. Sarah said seashells. Llewellyn said floral art. I did floral art yesterday, Llewellyn. So if you go, if you um, go back onto the page and watch the video that I did yesterday, I did that yesterday. Seashells, seashells will be coming, but not today. <gasps> Sue got it right. Dragonflies and it's Dandy Garden. Hi, Tracy. Hello from over the pond. How are you doing, my lovely? Hello, Pat, Jen, yes, Dandy Garden. Um, Chris is saying I'm a bit quieter than the last two days. I'm a bit further away from the microphone. I, I guess I could be. Um, when I craft, Chris, I am a bit closer to the microphone. So it... Yeah, I guess it could, it could be that. Um, Ros is saying the seashell set, you will see that, not at the moment. So, so yeah, so today it's, it's Dandy Garden, which is a huge suite of products. Um, there's two stamp sets, there's some dies, there's embellishments, there's papers, lots and lots and lots of stuff. So lots to show you. Um, those of you that are wanting to see the seashells, you will see them. Um, maybe not next week, maybe the week after on Craft, craft and Chat. Um, I'll see. I'll see how I kind of move things around. And um, the seashells is coming up in one of the craft alongs as well in a couple of months. But Dandy Garden is what is coming in the craft along kit for january so if you have signed up for the january kit or you purchased in december and and decided that that was the reward you wanted then um it will be coming out to you so that's really good um whilst i am talking about ordering I've had a couple of messages from customers in the past few hours of people having problems placing orders in the online store. And it seems to be connected to passwords and resetting passwords. Um, Stumping Up have done some reset of passwords, but if you are having a problem with um, placing an order, do not assume it's you. We always do that, don't we? We assume, oh, well, it must be something that I'm doing wrong. Um, if ever you have a problem and you can't place your order or you can't log in or whatever, just send me a message, call me up and let me know. And then I can raise it with stamping up in case it's a technical issue as opposed to uh, pressing the wrong buttons issue um if you can let me know because then i can i can fix the problem but i can't fix it if i don't know so please don't struggle life should not be struggles um certainly not when you what all you're wanting is some crafting goodies it should be easy so if it's not then let me know and i will get it sorted out for you okay 
Um, right, so let's see what the soup and comfort food answers are. So Tracy's saying curried parsnip, tortilla soup, Llewellyn. Tortilla soup? I appreciate that's probably an over the pond soup, but I'm confused. Do you put tortillas in it? As in tortilla chips? Or tortilla, the bread type tortilla? Butternut squash soup. That's one of my favourites too, Sarah. Um, Marlene, you are here. Uh, ooh, homemade lentil or broccoli soup, watercress soup. Oh, delicious, delicious, delicious. Butternut squash soup. So a few votes for butternut squash soup. And then the answer to the questions of any you know favorite comfort food foods <laughs> sarah says chocolate anything yeah i love that <gasps> homemade mac and cheese says llewellyn oh i love macaroni cheese i love cauliflower cheese actually possibly more than macaroni cheese but anything cheese sponge pudding and custard or beef stew says katie um, Jan saying leek and potato soup, butternut and sweet potato soup. Ooh, Delia sprout soup, says Jen. I'll go and have a look for that. Tortilla chips with chicken and veggies. Okay, but do, I'm sorry, Llewellyn. <laughs> I, I, I'm not trying to be, I, I'm just confused. So what happens to them? Do they go, they must go all mushy. So does it thicken it? Is it kind of, because tortilla chips are made from corn, aren't they? So does it just kind of add like a corn flavour? Does it make it thick? Um, chocolate salted caramel, says Judith. Parsnip and apple soup. Oh, Amanda, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Carol saying chocolate, rhubarb crumble. Chocolate, gammon and lentil soup. Oh, that's quite a few. I will be going back through this list later and write myself a new list of soups I need to make. I do like, ha well, I call it ham and pea soup. So Susan said gammon and lentil. I call it ham and pea. And it's not, so it, it would be gammon and split peas. So kind of lentils. Vegetable peeling soup, says Pat. Scrub them, remove any bad bits, cook and liquidise. No waste from the veggies that way. That's really good. To be fair, I don't peel that many veggies, to be honest. I tend to wash them and just chop them up. Um, even, actually, butternut squash. So, um, I know a few of you have said butternut squash soup, and I love making like a roasted butternut squash soup, and if you've ever tried to peel a butternut squash, it's really hard, but if you just chop it, I wash it, and I chop it, and put butter and maple syrup and things on, on it, a bit of oil, and roast it, the skin just softens. And, you know, it's all extra fibre, isn't it? It's good for you. Um, Diana's here. Janet's here. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, you see? It's good. Awesome. Okay. I've got hiccups now. That's no good, is it? Jess is saying she never peels veggies either. Yeah, I... I don't know, I don't know when I stopped peeling vegetables. I always used to peel vegetables, just don't peel vegetables anymore. So are my crocheters in the house um, today? If you are, I just wanted to give a bit of a, a shout out. It's actually a year ago that I started to crochet. And 
and um, if you've been around for a while you'll know that I started making a blanket actually I should have bought it but I'll uh, bring it another day um, I made a blanket following a pattern by um, a lady called Lucy from Attic 24 and every January she uh, designs a blanket pattern and she does um, a craft a, a craft along no a crochet along and um, she sells uh, the kits of the wool from the wool warehouse but she always uses double knitting wool so if you've got a stash you can kind of follow along with your own stash and it actually launches tomorrow so her new one launches tomorrow so um, I'm not actually doing it this year because, <laughs> because I've got my cardigan to finish. I might have started a hat and I've got my tax return to do. So, <laughs> so I've got no spare time over the next few weeks to get started on it. So um, I'm not doing it this time. But I know mum said that um, when I was chatting to her this morning she was going to do it. And I know some of you might want to do it as well. So if you go over to her blog, so it, if you just type in Attic24, you'll find it. Attic and the number 24, um, you'll find it. Um, she'll launch the pattern tomorrow. Um, there'll be links there to the wool warehouse. And she does pictorial um, instructions. So they're, they're really good and you can follow along really easily. And then she releases a bit of the pattern every couple of weeks, I think. So it gives you a chance um, to kind of catch up. And But she also does um, like catch up weeks and things. So it's great if you, if you want to do a bigger project, I can really recommend doing that. Okay. So let's have a look. Don't worry about being late, Janet, that's fine. Marion, hooray, Marion is joining. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So have you actually submitted it yet, Marion? Um, obviously I don't get my emails when I'm, when I'm chatting, so um, if it's come through, um, then I, I will be replying, but welcome to the team, my lovely. Um, and if anyone else is thinking that their wish list is crazy long and you've got more than a hundred pounds worth of products on your wish list then you need to join my team um, I'm always happy to chat about it I talk about it all the time it's a great deal you've got nothing to lose and if you decide that actually you don't want to do it anymore you can stop so you know there's no payback or anything like that and it's, it's one of those crazy things that you look at it and you go, that's too good to be true. And the reality is, it's such a great deal, but it's actually not too good to be true because there aren't any penalties or anything. And, um, you know, there's lots of my team here that are chatting today at the moment, and they'll all tell you the same. It's, it's a great decision. So um, if you want to talk to me about it, then let me know and we can chat. So Judith is crocheting at the moment. Sarah made the same blanket that I did. Oh, I see. Okay, so Llewellyn has explained the soup. So you make the soup. So it's a spicy tomato based soup with chicken, carrots, corn and celery. I'm loving that idea. I love, I love spice. So anything with chili. And spice in it is just lovely and then you put the tortilla chips on the top got it it makes perfect sense now Llewellyn thank you so much for um, sharing that Katie's headed to the fridge to go and get some chocolate Marion's going it's 40 degrees C yeah I'm guessing you're not eating chocolate though Marion and you're probably not eating soup either <laughs> Marlene's done her tack this morning. Yeah, I, I should know better. I just, it's, it's the creative in me. I just 
there are so many more things that I would rather be doing than admin so I just put it off and then normally I do it um, in the run-up to Christmas and I was a bit busy and I didn't do it but it's fine that's what next week's for Janet um, thanking for the info and Marion saying she made the decision to join because there were so many things she wanted to buy yeah because then you get extra goodies and you get a discount as well ah Marion keeps her chocolate in the fridge which you would do if you were in 40 degrees of heat absolutely okay so let's get this camera turned around and show you all these goodies um, before I do that though, just to let you know, I will be back next Tuesday for normal craft and chat, um, and every Tuesday after that. And I've had a few messages from, um, lots of different people asking me, you know, the vaccine's coming and we are at some point this year going to kind of get back to normal or our new normal whatever our new normal is and wondering what was going to happen to my online classes and craft and chat and so on all of this is staying this is my new normal um i will continue doing craft and chat every tuesday at two i will be doing the craft along every month and i probably will be adding some additional online classes as well for those of you that craft with me in person, there will be classes as well. There will be in-person classes. Um, things are going to look different, um, you know, as uh, we've all made changes. Um, so things will look different, but the, the, they will both happen, okay? So there will be in-person classes and there will be all of the online stuff that you are seeing right now and hopefully some more as well so thank you for telling me that you are loving the online classes and these facebook lives and things because it really really helps me um yeah it, it makes my heart glad <laughs> that you're enjoying it and and i really appreciate that you take the time to tell me um and yeah i'm not going anywhere i'm staying right here in your device <laughs> whatever that device is and i will keep continuing to jabber on um about all kinds of stuff and um hopefully we can keep connecting this way because i i love talking to you and you've kept me sane for the past year it's been, been a long time hasn't it so there we go right so let me cover over the camera turn everything around my desk is a disaster zone already and I haven't started yet so it'll be fine what could possibly go wrong right hang on right so what I do need to do is Ooh, to turn you around move the things that I don't want you to see yet <laughs> move that move that right move that oh let me let me show you this isn't that cute <laughs> it's got nothing to do with what we're talking about isn't that cute so um I kept ending up with ring marks with my coffee on my desk so I treated myself to some new coasters and they're um, called Rendale and it's a set there's a set of six so um, there's a fox and a badger and a pheasant I think and the owl and a rabbit they're really cute um, it's part of the Port Merion stuff I think so yeah it's very cool oh and there was a duck as well so i've got one coaster up here i've got some more downstairs in my office but they just made me smile and 
We said we talked about this yesterday, didn't we? We talked about joy and doing things to make us smile. And that was what I what I did the other day. So I got some pennies at Christmas, so you know. Okay, so let's see. Um so on the subject of crochet, Sue's made two bobble hats to go with the scarf. Oh, and she started crocheting hearts to send off to the hospitals for patients who can't have visitors. Last year she knitted loads, but trying crocheting this time. Fab, Sue, can you put information about that in the Inspiring Ink in Crafting corner? Um, if anyone else wants to, to join in with that. Anne is also recommending um, Attic24. Um, she has great tutorials and lots of people saying they're pleased that I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to show you the Dandy Garden product suite. But I want to show you a couple of things in the catalogue because I know whenever you get a new catalogue, all you want to do is look at the pre pretty stuff, don't you? And <laughs> it's always a good idea to know how the catalogue is designed to help you find the things that you want. So the product suites are here listed at the front and then there's information um, about bundles and then it says the bundles and the catalogue at a glance are at the back so if you may go to page 75 it details out here all of the bundles so you can see at a glance what goes with what and there is another sample here and this sample is different so if you look at the kangaroo and company and I tell you this is such a cute set I'm waiting for mine to arrive so there is there are these samples here and then this sample is different so if you get your ideas from the catalogue which we all do um, check here as well for additional samples and then after that, you've got the catalogue at a glance. So you've got all the stamp sets here and like a little image so you can remember what they are. Um, you've got more stamp sets and the papers. You've got the additional embellishments and all the dies and then all the punches and so on. So it just means that if you're thinking, oh, I wanted the pearls, you can just look in the back and you'll be able to see where they are or the blending brushes or whatever. So just so you know, it's just easy to uh, sort that out. Okay, so Dandy Garden, where were we? Page 24. Okay, so this is kind of a mega suite, I guess is kind of how I would describe it because there are two stamp sets, a die set, a punch, memories of more cards and embellishments and papers. So I've got most things to show you. What I don't have to show you is this laser paper. Um, and this laser paper is really pretty and you can actually see one of the um, pieces here. So the white background here in a frame, that's one of the laser cut pieces. I don't have that to show you, but I have everything else. Um, and then there are more samples and things here as well. So there are lots and lots. So I am going to start out with the stamp sets. So 
this is this is actually obviously what I'm going to be using later because <laughs> of course I'm going to be working with the dragonfly um there is a punch and the big dragonfly matches these and the little dragonfly actually doesn't there's no it doesn't match any of those things um but it's just to make little dragonflies and i always say this if ever you receive a card from me if it's got a little butterfly or dragonfly it's usually hiding an ink smudge this is a perfect ink smudge size <laughs> because it's quite little um there are wings here to stamp now they are designed to stamp both sides and i know that is kind of weird because they look like they will only fit that way and i'll show you because you actually flip it over and you stamp the other other side they um they're not designed the, this stamp is not designed to perfectly fit inside there okay it's meant to be kind of a watercolor wash type image if you want perfectly colored in bits then use um blends or markers or an aqua painter or watercolour pencils, that kind of stuff, if you want it exactly in the lines. This is more designed to be a bit more random. Okay, so that is, is the, the first one. Then you have this one, and this is um, a second stamp set. Oh, sorry, I should have said, this is red rubber. It's a red rubber set. As is this one also red rubber this has got dandelions in and again you've got this image here which is to color in here and here i've got a little bee bit of <laughs> gold leafing from yesterday and um, some really lovely sentiments and there is a die set that goes with this let me just show you the dies So you have this die here and this one and this one. So that cuts out the B and the single dandelion and uh, this larger one. And then you've got all these other pieces. So you've got leaves and stems and grass and even a little stitched bit to put behind the bee to kind of show that it's it's whizzing along so there are lots of different elements um, in the dies to go with that set Okay, so there, that's the, the stamps and the dies. And then I'm going to show you the papers. Now these papers are stunning and it's six by six paper pack, 48 sheets and you're getting four sheets of each, I think. Yeah, four sheets of each. So I'm just going to pop them down and then I'll flip them over. So do, do, do. This one, let's pop that one there. So you've got, this is probably the easiest way for me to kind of showcase it for you. So you've got abstract patterns like this. But then you've also got drawn images as well. Uh, that one, that one, yeah, and that one. Okay, so that's me back to the beginning. So you've got images like this, which you can actually punch out. So that dragonfly will punch out there. And then... 
let's see if I can show you. This little dragonfly will also punch out as well. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see that. But obviously you can fussy cut them. So these are bigger dragonflies. And you'll see on a card in a minute that I've made, um, you can fussy cut these, these out as well. So you've got the abstract, but you've also got the, the drawn patterns as well. There's quite a lot of misty moonlight, um, which I love. Um, there's calypso coral. So you've got some bees there. Let me turn these ones over. Again, you've got more dragonflies here and smaller patterns as well. So you've got bigger images like this and then smaller ones as well. Um, so the, the kind of main colours really are bumblebee, mossy meadow, misty moonlight, calypso coral and blackberry bliss. Um, they're kind of the main colours. So there we go. So let's have a look. Oh, Tracy's recommending that you look in the celebration burrow, sure, as well, because there are samples in there too. And um, Marlene, this is what you were trying to order last night. I hope that the password reset has sorted itself out. Um, but we can we can have a chat after this. Um, Donna's arrived. Sophie's arrived. Jackie's arrived. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so I'm going to keep those out because I'm going to use some of those later. Okay, oh, here is the cute stuff. I'm hoping that you can see these really well. These are tiny, tiny ladybirds. They are so cute. Now they're actually hollow, so you can actually fit a dimensional underneath there or a glue dot. They are metal, so you need something fairly decent in weight to be able to hold them. Um, glue dots would be my preference. We've then got this, which is, let me get the pin out of it. Um, it's called Mossy Meadow Braided Linen Trim. Um, again, really lovely. You can use it as it is, but equally you can separate it out and just use single strands or a couple of strands. So all of those things, it's really pretty. Yes, Llewellyn, you can use the punch to cut the dragonflies out. So, of this sheet, like this. There you go. Like that. Okay, so what else do I have to do? Oh, I've got two more things to show you let me just stick that back in so otherwise it'll unravel okay so for those of you that scrapbook or do memory keeping we have memories and more cards now we don't have lots of different packs of these at the moment so I get really excited when we get them so what they are are they're designed for pocket pages so these are three inches by four inches and these are four by six and you've got um, a lot of different cards and they're all double-sided and they're designed to slip inside a pocket uh, page scrapbook or to be used either on card fronts or on 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 scrapbooking pages as well now um yeah there's two of each so let me just um 
put these down. So some of them will have words on them. Others will have journaling spaces on them. So that is somewhere for you to actually write. Um, oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. And this one says, thank you very much. Notes from today. And then obviously some of these are uh, duplicates of the patterns from the paper. Time together is well spent. Some things are meant to be. Today was a great day. So these work really well beside your photos. Life is an adventure, so more journaling. Right, I am going to hang on to that one. And that one, I think. Right, so that's those. Now, obviously they are designed for scrapbooking, but these make perfect embellishments for card fronts, which is what I'm going to use those for in a little while. And then these are the six by uh, four by six. Um, so again, bigger journaling and patterns. And then I'll come back to those in a second. Um, so that's designed for you to put uh, pictures on. Our wonderful lie weekend getaway. Soon, everyone, soon. That would be good. And that's your board backed. And then you have these. So you have sticker sheets. So you have these two, which is obviously you've got labels and some uh, different embellishments there. And then these, again, are little em em sort of embellishment stickers. And then you've got um, some words as well. And you get two sheets of that as well. So there you go. So they are lovely. So there is one more thing to show you, and it's actually on a it's actually a card. So it's here. Let me just get the catalogue and just to show you. So, ooh, that's the Memories and More pack there, number four. That's 9.25 for that pack. Um, but this is what I'm going to show you now. And this is the Memories and More cards and envelopes. And I know when I, when I talk to um, my lovely customers, Quite often, one of the things that they hate doing is actually making card blanks, just because it's boring, um, <laughs> because it's not an exciting thing to do. Um, and they quite often like pre-prepared card blanks. And that's what these are, and I'm just going to show it to you in a second. But you get 20. So they are slightly larger than a um, A6 card. So they are four and a quarter inches by six and a quarter inches, but they come with envelopes. So um, it's not a problem because you have an envelope that fits. Um, and they're printed on the front and the inside of the envelope is printed and the front. So I'm just going to show you um, what that uh, looks like. So let me just grab this. So... Um, this is a, a card that I have made. So, let me just plug you guys in. My phone, for some reason, is running out of charge really quickly today. Um, 
so I'll bring it I'll bring it up so nice and close so you can see so it's printed with the bumblebee color and the dandelions on the back and I have fussy cut these two dragonflies so that's from this sheet here so this is a really big dragonfly and this one now I don't know whether you can see part of that dragonfly is actually lopped off one of his his wings is lopped off and all I did was I just rounded it and I don't think you would notice it's just a little bit shorter but I don't think unless unless I pointed it out you wouldn't notice um, and then obviously there's one of the beautiful ladybirds and that happy birthday is from the floral art which I showed you yesterday um, and I've just punched that out so that's the card and then this is the envelope and you know I say this all the time that you mustn't send naked envelopes you must always decorate the front or the back doesn't matter of an envelope just so that when the person receiving it goes oh happy post but that is so pretty and there's plenty of space to write I know this is quite a big image but there's plenty of space to write and then on the back look you've got a lovely printing on the inside as well so that's really cool really cool so there you go so that is all of the products in that suite so like i said it's mega sweet it is huge so i have some cards to show you and then i'm going to make um a couple of cards um i have been very lucky in that some of my team have been sending me cards and you know they know <laughs> i love dragonflies and if you haven't fathomed that one out yet that is my logo um is a dragonfly and i have been a little bit excited about all these products so this is a card from the lovely denise and she's actually used um i think they're called i don't know what they're called <laughs> Quite often, I guess, and then I'm wrong, but it's in, they're in the annual catalogue. I want to call them gold rhinestones, but that's wrong. It is. They are gilded gems. You see, there you go. They're down there. Page 16. So they're very shiny and very gold, which is really beautiful. Um, this one is from Liz, which is really lovely. You've got some stamping and some, some um, lots of lots of um, ladybirds on that one. I made this one. I made this one. <laughs> And then Kerry made this one. Kerry's here, actually, I think. So lots of colouring in, which is really, really lovely. And there is some Wink of Stella, I think, there on the dragonfly. So really, really pretty. So lots and lots and lots of different cards and things. So I'll move those out of the way. So I need to get some paper out and I'm going to get the dragonflies out so I'm just going to show you this bit first because it's always good to work out How that's gonna how that's gonna work 
so let's go with Misty Moonlight. And Bumblebee. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to stamp on my grid paper and then stamp in the general direction of the wings. Okay. It is not designed. Ooh, <laughs> it's not designed to be perfect. Let me show you. So can you see? It's a suggestion of colour. So let's get the black blue bliss out. Now be warned with black blue bliss. I talk about this every time I open it up. Black blue bliss is like scrumping for blackberries when you were a kid. Um, I'm sure lots of you did that. And you end up with purple fingers, purple face. <laughs> purple stains down your down your t-shirt I know I was I was a bit of a, a messy kid but um it gets everywhere just so just like squashed blackberries this is the same so just go steady with it or gently with it so again randomly aim in the general direction and you will see You've got lovely, lovely colour. Obviously, you can punch those out as well. Um, I'm not going to use those at the moment. I'm going to use some other images. So I'm going to get my Blackberry Bliss out. And let's go with... A whisper white layer and I'm going to trim this down a bit so where's my trimmer gone <laughs> Andriana's saying she she overlooked the set but she's warming up to it now yeah it's always going to be my favorite set so this is four inches so I'm taking a quarter of an inch off each edge so that it will fit here on my card front and I'm going to cut this one in half so it's going to be at two inches. And I'm going to pop a bit under there and a bit under there. So what it's actually going to do is it's going to lift the card, um, but obviously I've kind of extended it across. Um, and actually, I'm going to go. So I'm changing as I'm as I'm designing. I'm changing. So you must do this as well when you're when you're making things and you go hmm and I like that and I like that and I like that so what am I going to do oh I'll do that as well so I'm just going to leave a little border there and a little border here just make sure I'm in shot. I was working a bit low then. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put dimensionals on this just to give it a 
bit of height. And saying that her real red ink is like that. She has to wash her hands if she does, does as, so much as look at it. I know it's crazy in that. I just think some colours are just going to do that. Right. Look, see, that's really good. I've used another of my random sheets of dimensionals. I'm on a mission to use up all my half finished sheets. I keep finding them. I'm going to open another drawer and oh, there's some more dimensionals that I haven't used. So there we go. I'm going to pop that there. That's going to go on the front of this card and then I'm going to find some dragonflies. So there is going to be no stamping on this card. I know. That's crazy, isn't it? No stamping. And there is just going to be There is just going to be dragonflies. So Scissors, scissors. Obviously, if you don't have the punch, you can snip these dragonflies out by hand. Um, and these little tiny ones, if you want to, you can fussy cut those as well. So let's see if I can actually line this one up. Now, what I haven't done is brought my post-it notes up. Um, what you can do if you've got a scrap of paper like this is actually stick it onto a post-it note. And that will then give you something to hold on to. But I have just... Ooh, which way? That way. I have just... Um, I just fiddled with it and it worked. So let's, right, I'm only putting glue on that bit. So Claire's arrived. Hi Claire. Hi Gemma. Thank you for joining in. So there we go. And then um, I'm going to, going to put some of these uh, gems on these are the opal rounds now I mentioned them on Tuesday and I actually put them on the cards that we made on Tuesday that was the pierced blooms cards and the in bloom cards um, but I didn't actually show you what they looked like and this is this is them and they are they're not completely translucent they are fairly clear, but not completely clear. And they're kind of, as they say on the tin, really, they're opal rounds. So if you've ever seen an opal um, that has like the flashes of green and red and purple and stuff in it, that's, that's, what, they're, that's what they're like. And they're just really pretty. So I'm just going to put... three of those on there as well just to just to add a little bit of sparkle let me move that one over a bit there we go there we go so there you go so there is a a, a finished card with no stamping and you know we like that we do like we do like a bit of card making no stamping okay so that's one card so I'm going to make another card I'm gonna go kind of blues for this one and probably 
fairly monochrome actually, I think. So let's see. We've got quite a few blue papers to choose from. I think we'll probably go. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Um, I think I'm going to go with those two. Okay, where's my bone folder gone? Honestly, every time I start doing something and it all goes, everything moves. Just pondering. Just pondering. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking at this paper. I'm thinking, you know, this is really lovely. And this is really lovely too, the other side. And we have this a lot, don't we? We feel guilty <laughs> because we've got patterned paper and it's really pretty on both sides. So what I'm going to do is just show you a little quick tip for that. So I'm going to cut this to three and three quarters by five and a half. And that is going to give me a border. So I'm actually going to stick it down there on the front of the card, but it's giving me like a little border all the way around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut halfway along and I'm going to cut in almost halfway so it's going to be at two and three quarter inches and I'm going to cut along to a little bit less than two inches so I've actually got a cut here. And I'm going to turn this back. Like so. So what it's doing is it's giving you a frame here. It's showcasing the other patterned paper. So it's giving you the, the opportunity, if you like, to actually put something else there. Um, so we're going to use some glue dots to pin that down. It says, yep. Yeah. And you can either leave it this colour, so you can leave it the card blank colour. I'm actually going to get some white card and I'm actually going to put that underneath. So what that's, that's going to do, I'm going to stick it there. So it's, it's going to give me like a base to put that on. So I'm just lining it up here, so that's my straight edge, and then I'm going to stick the whole thing down. Okay. 
And of course we're going to put a dragonfly in there. <laughs> what else would we put in there? And we're going to put a sentiment on it as well. So let's find some more card. And... this clean my stamp so clean the other stamp as well And I'm using um, the Misty Moonlight again, but I'm stamping off. So, like I said, I'm kind of going monochromatic with this. And then... There is my dragonfly. So my dragonfly is, is going to go there. And then I need a sentiment. So, again, I, I've been saying all week, haven't I? <laughs> I need to make more thank you cards. So I'm going to go with thank you for your kindness. And then hope I've got a block that's going to work and we're going to pop that there and then I will use my trimmer and trim that down and then we'll get it all all stuck together Ooh. I've got a full desk that I can work on and yet I am working in a six inch square and my trimmer's upside down, it's not going to work. Right, let's go to an inch, that works. So I'm going to make this into a flag end. So obviously we've got punches that will work, but you don't always have a punch that is the right size for the piece of cardstock that you have. So um, this is an easy way of doing it. So if you cut in along the center and then cut from the edge to that center point, like so, and again, the other way, Ooh. you will end up with your flag. Now this is a bit too long. That stamping is pretty wonky as well, but oh well, this is live crafting. There we go. And that's wonky as well. <laughs> I think I need to have another slurp of my coffee before I carry on doing that because that's just going to get worse and worse but there we go what can happen is you just keep cutting but that's better okay so that is going to go on here momentarily but I am going to have a slurp of my coffee <laughs> before I carry on Right. Oh, hands are a bit chilly as well today. Right, so that's down, that's down. So just the last couple of bits to do. So I've got my little dragonfly. It's just going in here. I'm going to curve this a little bit with the bone folder just to give it a bit of a 
a bit of dimension. I'm going to stick it flat to this edge, but I'm going to put a dimensional part way along. And I do that quite often on this flag type um, embellishment. And what that does is it just makes sure that this curved bit stays up. So I'll put Tombow glue there. Take that backing off there. So I want that bit to go just there and that's going to cover that. So can you see it's still curling here? Let me just tidy that up a bit. It's still curling, but it's flat on this edge. Okay, so again, a really simple card. I think I might have to put another dragonfly on it. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this one. Let's see if I can get that one. <laughs> right. This is where I'm wiggling the bit of paper. Hang on. Let's try and put it in straight. if that works can you tell that I've got my tongue stuck out as I'm concentrating <laughs> probably be quicker for me to actually fussy cut it Let's just fussy cut it. <laughs> Let's just do that because it'll be faster. Okay, so it will, this one, this size, will be punched out. And the way you do it, like I said, is when you cut your little scrap of card, stick it on a post-it note and then you've got something to hold it when you're putting it in the punch. Um, if that doesn't make sense, put a comment on um, here and I will remember to bring it next week and I will show you what I mean. So, we've got one there. And because, because I can, and because we've got a minute or two, <laughs> I'm going to, I don't want you to stress about fussy cutting teeny, teeny things. There isn't a punch for this. You have, you would have to fussy cut it. And I enjoy fussy cutting. If you don't, you could just punch it out with like a circle punch. That would look really cool. But I am just going to be really, do this really fiddly. And I still have got my tongue stuck out as I'm concentrating with the cutting. Try not to cut its wings off. Nearly there, look. Look how teeny it is. Tiny, tiny bit of Tombow glue. There we go. Okay, so there you go. Now, I have barely touched 
on <laughs> the products in the suite. I mean, I've shown you everything, but I've, you know, just barely started. I haven't, I've used two stamps. You've got these lovely um, cluster of dragonflies. I don't know. You know how groups of animals have names? I don't know what a group of dragonflies is called. It's probably got a name. This is so beautiful, coloured in and, and so on. Um, but I've only just started it and this is just a stamp set and a punch and the papers. So um, there are so many other things that you can, you can do. But there you go. Ooh, Tracy's saying, is it called a cloud of dragonflies? I don't know, but I like that. I like that as a as a name. That that's good. Or a cluster or a flight. Oh yeah, like a, like like the name flight as well. Somebody will know. There there are always proper names for things. Oh, a group of dragonflies is called a swarm, says Scylla. Interesting. You see, swarm, I would think of bees and wasps and things. There you go. So. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed the um, little bit of a walk through Dandy Garden, um, which is this mega, mega suite. Those of you that will be crafting along with me at the end of January, you're going to be getting um, the papers and some embellishments in your kit. So we're going to be making lots of, of things with that. As I said um, earlier, if you are having any problems with online ordering, I know of a couple today, um, please, please let me know. Um, please don't assume it is you. Um, I would always like to double check and make sure um, that we can get it sorted out. All of the products that you have seen today are available in my online store. Um, or you can go to my blog, which is www.inspiringinkin.com and then there's a link to my online store there. If you're watching on the replay, either on my blog or on YouTube, thank you very much for joining me. I'm afraid you won't be able to see the comments that I'm replying to on the replay um, because this was filmed live on Facebook. Um, but do leave comments and subscribe to all my channels. Um, I share lots of creative inspiration all over the place and you will always find me under Inspiring Inkin. I hope that you have enjoyed this three-part series of uh, mini catalogue launch. If you've got any questions about any of the products that you've seen or anything really stamping up related, um, do let me know. I will be back here on Tuesday at two o'clock for another craft and chat. I hope to see you again then. Take care till then. Goodbye.